Hi guys! Um, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been literally probably way over a month since I last filmed. Um, reason being, December was just so manic. Like a few things happened towards the end, um, which I will go in to probably in my update video or something. Um, but literally was just so crazy. So I didn't have like five minutes pretty much to sit down and film a decent video. Um, so I thought, just start again in January. <laughs> That's probably the best bet. Um, so yeah, so today I am back and I am going to film a December slash Christmas slash January, like favourites, what I've been loving, and it's a bit of a range of everything. So hopefully there's something for everyone. So I thought I'd kind of split into sections. Um, number one, I'm just going to do the booty and things for like stretch marks and makeup bits that I've bought or I have Christmas and the things that I've really really enjoyed using since then um, and then I'll move on to my favourite clothes bits and what have I got? Um, then I may show a few baby bits that I've bought but I may do a separate video on that so we'll see how it goes <laughs> um, so yeah so if you're not really interested in makeup or booty on to the middle and that's where the clothes and accessories and things will come in so um, number one is kind of like a brand that I've been a lot more into maybe um there are a few things that i've used from this brand before and before being pregnant it was just not a brand that i enjoyed using um i bought a foundation from them i bought a lipstick from them um and i had a palette given to me for christmas and i also had mascaras from them and i did really like the mascaras um but it wasn't one that i gravitated towards using um but that brand is actually lancome um since being pregnant i have a lot my skin is amazing well for me it's amazing so like having the freedom to use brands now that I'm not panicking all the time about my my face is just going to break out in a hundred spots. It's brilliant. Um, I don't know if anyone actually watches me or works for Lancome, but I do need a bit of advice, actually, because I've searched on the internet and I can't find any information on this. But um, I was given this palette um, oh, probably about a year and a half ago now. It's the Absolute Voyage palette. And inside, there are... Um, two concealers, a blusher, um, some eyeshadows and these are lip colours and then underneath um, used to be an eyeliner and a brush and a powder um, now the powder is the thing that I've been loving the most which is the the pronunciation of this is going to be horrendous but it's the Majeur I think Excellence Compact Powder um, I've looked online and I think they do this in a bigger form so I'm going to get a bigger form um, it's just in number one translucent um, but the thing that I need advice with <laughs> if anyone knows um, is actually num this concealer and the concealer um, they just come under correctors beige clear and beige 03 um, and I've just been obsessed with them, but I cannot seem to find them online. Um, so I don't know if the palette even exists anymore. Um, I've lost like literally the brushes and everything that came with it, I've lost. Um, but the powder is amazing and the powder you can get online. Um, so I'm definitely going to get, I got I had two Debenhams vouchers for Christmas. Um, so I'm definitely going to get the powder and I'm going to try and find the concealer. I am going to take it into Debenhams and see if they can match a concealer um but the second thing that i've been obsessed with um my mascara um actually i think the mascara was what was in the year it was a little um hypnos lancome hypnos mascara um ran out literally on christmas eve so i didn't have any um mascara on christmas day and i used I, I used something else on Christmas Day anyway just to get me by. But then I went on Boxing Day um, to the local retail park by me. And I saw they had this little set. And it was actually reduced from £25 to £16.75 as you can see. And it has four um, mascaras in there. It has the Hypnos Drama, the Hypnos Doll Eyes, Hypnos Volume Reporter and Hypnos Noir Hypnotic. Um, now, my favourite ones out of these are the Volume of Porter, or Porte, wherever it is, and the Noir Hypnotic, that's the biggest one. Um, so it comes with uh, B3, 
big um, noir hypnotic and then the others are this size um, so perfect for traveling and actually I've used them all and I do really like them all um, so yeah that was a really good find and you can still I'm sure find this online you can find them separately anyway but for 16 75 when a normal mascara from Lancome is more than that usually so I've been loving that um, I have also got really back into liners um, lip liners and I went off them for a while because I just felt like um, so um, I was interrupted in filming and slowed a little bit later which is probably why um, the lighting has gone so dark I have put some lights on around me um, but I think it's still a bit dark but anyway it'll be fine um, so yeah like I was saying um, I've got really into liners again um, lipstick liners uh, I had my lips done um, I've had them done twice now um, I haven't done in Swansea um, with a lady called Danielle Martin or otherwise known as DM Aesthetics um, she is amazing I don't think I would ever go to anyone else she's just the probably one of the nicest people you'll ever meet and um, I had them done last no no last December I had them done the day before Christmas Eve 23rd and um, last sorry that's confusing I had them done December 2017 yeah December 2017 and um, March 2018 and I have not had them done since um, so this is actually how they look. Um, so it's a preference, it's whether you like lip filler or not. Um, I had a very large um, bottom lip and to be honest my top lip was quite full but I just felt like it needed a little bit more and um, I had a 1.5mm to start with and a 0.5mm top up um, and that has kept them like filler reacts with everyone differently so you may you may need yours done in two months you may need yours done in six months you may need yours done in three years um, mine definitely do not need to do in at all and um, so that has been amazing and a lot of people said to me when I was having them done you're mad um, a lot of people didn't want me to have them done Zach was 100% against me having them done um, but I really like them my mother and father are not keen but you know <laughs> so's life um, so they are much happier now that they have settled and they've gone down a little bit sorry I'm just looking at myself in the mirror but anyway um, so for a long time I didn't really wear lip, lip liner because I didn't feel like I actually needed it and um, I I don't know I just never really gravitated towards wearing it and I don't wear a lot of makeup to be honest I'm quite like I wear like six things and that's it so um I've got really back into liners and I bought um well re-bought because I, ha I haven't had this for years um Soul Liner by MAC and it's really blunt I should have sharpened it really um but it's like this like pinky nude colour and as you can see it is really blunt but it's just the most natural colour and I've been loving it and I've also got back into wearing um, Chestnut and Whirl. They are my other two. So Saw, Whirl and Chestnut. Um, usually I wear a lighter lipstick than this. This is quite a dark lipstick actually today for me. Um, but anyway, I've definitely got back into that. And um, I think lastly in terms of booty um or makeup or that kind of thing is um i had a perfume for christmas and um i stick to three perfumes i always have and um, i stick to the original chloe um which i'm obsessed with and actually i should say four probably four so the original chloe um the blue Roberto Cavalli, which they don't actually do anymore, but I do like the Cavalli Paradiso as well. Um, C, Amani C, the um, black bottle one, the intense perfume. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's just so much more worth the money, in my opinion. And the red modern mousse. I think it's called Rose. Anyway, so they're my four. But my mother always wears this perfume. <laughs> And whenever she wears it, I think, oh, this, this smells lovely. And it's like a really grown-up smell. Um, so, anyway, I didn't ask for it for Christmas. But I always say to her, Mammy, look, you smell lovely. So she did buy me um, it for Christmas. It was a complete surprise. But it's um, Chanel, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. 
and um I have literally been obsessed with it. I haven't bought anything else since she's bought it me. She bought me the small one um, because she usually gets me the, the biggest size, but she wasn't sure if I would, if I wanted it. She just, it was kind of like a whim purchase. Um, and literally I've been obsessed with that. So that's the 50ml one. Um, but this was like, we all went to Zach. So I had my Christmas day with my mother and father and my sister. And then Christmas night, we, my family went to Zach's house. So, because um, we all get on really well. And we opened our presents then later in the night and Zach's mother actually bought me um, the the Coco Mademoiselle um, spray, moisture mist, which I didn't actually know was a thing, but apparently it is. Um, so she bought me a load of lovely stuff, but it, I just thought it was really strange that my mother bought me one thing and then Zach's mother bought me something that went perfectly with it. So um, this is 100 mils. And it comes in a bottle like this. And I think she bought it for me. I don't know if this is true. If she's watching, she'll probably tap me. But I think she bought it for me because Zach always wears Chanel after shave. He always has. And I think um, she thought, well, what can I get her that's like something really nice? And I love it. And I have been loving this just to spray on every day. Because the perfume's quite expensive and you don't just want to like use it and i'm a oh, i'm with proof i'm an absolute blitzer like i spray it everywhere um so obviously when something is like over 100 pound a bottle you're not wanting to like spray it so um this the spray has been perfect and i will link it down below if i can find it i haven't actually seen it anywhere i went to the chanel counter i didn't see it there so um yeah so i don't know where she found it but um i am obsessed with it so thank you very much zach's mom tracy <laughs> um so next i'm gonna move on to um clothes things i've been loving now i have been obsessed with um big like blouses or big shirts so this one's from zara um i'm not gonna lie i'm a zara fiend um it'll be very rare if i did a clothes haul and there wasn't the majority of stuff from zara but anyway, um, so this is a lovely little blouse and it has um, horses on it. Not that you can see, it's a bit abstract. Um, but I've been obsessed with this. So what I've been doing since I've been pregnant is just buying everything in a large because I can still fit into a Zara large. Um, I'm not actually sure how, <laughs> but I can still fit into a Zara large. Um, usually I would be a medium, probably small to medium in Zara, but I like things baggy anyway. So I'm obsessed with this. I've loved, and I've got really back into black actually. That's another thing. But anyway, first of all, I will move on to shoes. And I've got really into boots. Um, I went off boots for a, a long while and I was just wearing trainers. Like I was just into like tailored trousers and trainers and I still really like that. But sometimes you want to wear something a bit smarter and I feel like when I was first pregnant like I just couldn't wear anything tidy or smart or fitted because I felt so big but I've actually lost weight um towards the end of my pregnancy because I've lost fat um I've now got like a proper bump and I've lost like the fat that was kind of all around me um and I've gone back to being <laughs> resembling a bit more like myself so anyway um i had these lovely pair of zara boots for christmas i actually had um two pairs of boots from zara for christmas i had a heeled pair and a flat pair the heeled pair over zacks which i didn't realize before filming this video um otherwise i would have showed you those but they were like a two-tone burgundy and black and they were really nice but i also had these um and they've got like a really nice big buckle, they suede on the one side and then leather and suede on the front. And um, they were from the TRF um, section. They were £35 I think, which is really good for a boot, especially for Zara. And they're so comfy and they come up quite high on your leg, which I like. Um, because sometimes I, f I hate when people, I, d I don't know with boots, but there's just certain times where they're so tucked in and then I feel like you just look like you haven't got a leg or a foot. <laughs> it's stupid, it's hard to explain. But anyway, I've been obsessed with those and um, they did go down in the sale but I can't find them online now. They've all gone and they had only a size 9 left. So if you had a size 9, you can probably still get them. Um, and then another pair of boots I've really gone back to wearing, um, which I had a couple of years ago now, um were uh, my tommy hilfiger boots tommy hilfiger did a capsule collection with Gigi hadid um 
I don't know if they're still ongoing. I bought a couple of things from there and then they did another collection and I'm not sure if it's still ongoing. But anyway, I have these lovely boots. Um, they've got a bit more of a heel on them. They've got a really nice red sole, but they are obviously worn in to death. And they've got the gold, like, Gigi Hadid sign on them, Tommy Hilfiger. And I have literally been obsessed with these. And since I've been pregnant, they've been so comfy. Um, so I've been wearing them a lot as well. Um, which actually lends itself to something else that I've been loving, which are tailored blazers. I've gone back to being obsessed with blazers. Um, if you follow me on Instagram and you look back a couple of months, years, I literally was like the blazer queen. Like any blazer that Zara bought out, I would buy. Um, and then I kind of went off it and then I went into more of like a street style kind of look and I just like jeans and big jumpers and trainers. But I've really got back into wearing nice blazers. Um, so first of all, I have this blazer and it's missing a button which I'm gutted about. I'll go back and show you. Um, but it's this really nice tailored blazer. It's kind of like a Balmain style. Um, but I've lost a button there so I need to sew that back on. But it was actually from River Island and um i bought this actually in the january sale and it's a lovely like neutral color um, it's not a color that i would generally really buy um i got it in a size 12 because at the minute i'm obviously a lot bigger than i would have been before and um i wore this um to london just after christmas me and zach went to london and i wore it with just a plain black polo neck and um some black like sock trainers and some black jeans and it just looked like so nice and it was really warm um and i actually had this for 45 pounds in the sale which i think is pretty good um and if you do want to see it on then i have wore it in my on my instagram um and i've been obsessed with that and another one that i've gone back to really really loving um i actually had it was a zara basic one um, I had this for my birthday in June and I haven't worn it much but then since I've been pregnant I've been wearing it quite a lot um, it's a large and if you know me I love boucle <laughs> which is like this material um, but it's another kind of like military style Balmain copy and it's in this lovely cream but it's a kind of like a peplum on the bottom style which is really good if you have a bump <laughs> because it just skims past and makes you a little bit less bumpy um, and it's got nice buttons on the back but you cannot go wrong with Zara for a blazer like in my opinion I just I'm obsessed with Zara anyway always have been I my mom always dresses in Zara when we were kids and we just grew up and we just loved it so um Zara tailoring for me is just the one um and then another little accessory that I've been obsessed with are headbands and like fabric in your hair um so this one i've worn like probably to death it's like a chain print one from new look um and i just love it i just think it's really really nice um and when you've got dirty hair or you just want to get your fringe out of the way or it just it gives you like you look like you've put a bit of effort in even though you probably haven't <laughs> um so that one i bought myself before christmas this one i had for christmas um from I think this one was actually from Sainsbury's. I think my mother bought me this anyway for Christmas. And it's like this lovely green colour. And um, yeah, I just think they're really cute. Like, I'm just really into them. And I think with a, having a fringe, they kind of make me look like I'm three, but I kind of like it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really obsessed with them. And I've ordered actually from... Um, ebay a load of like diamante ones so i'm waiting for them to come so i hope they look nice so i was hoping to do like a maternity evening wear and I, hopefully i can put a few of them in um but this is actually a scrunchie from primark and um you like put your hair up and then you have this cute little bow which i think is really really nice and primark are doing loads of these at the minute primark you cannot go wrong so give that down to primark if you like a headband <laughs> um primark and new look new look have done some really good ones and um lastly in like terms of fashion um i have been obsessed with like play suits and um things that i can get away with being pregnant but that still look really nice so this one you've probably seen on my instagram if you follow me on instagram i wore this on new year's day um it's a black polka dot one from zara um it's pink and black polka dots and it goes down into like a flowy skirt but it's actually a play suit underneath 
um, which is really good if you're pregnant and you don't want like the wind to get you but also you can put these with tights and just wear them with boots and they're really good for the day or for work um, if you worked in an office and they're super super comfy um, so that one I am literally obsessed with it's a bit hard to show you on camera because obviously um, they're high um, that one I'd be loving. This one um, I haven't worn, but it's also from uh, from Zara. Um, it's still got the tag on from Christmas. Um, but this one is a like ball green one, and it's kind of got the spots embroidered into the fabric. And um, again, it goes down into like a floaty like um, dress. But this one's lower, um, so a bit more like this kind of style. And I bought this, um, I sorry, I didn't buy it. My mother bought it for me, but I was with my mother when I picked it. Um, because Zach bought me a lovely um, bottle green Ted Baker bag for Christmas. Um, when we went to Amsterdam, it was kind of like an early Christmas present. And I just haven't wore it um, because I've got loads of bottle green stuff, like big coats and fur. But because I'm pregnant, they just don't fit. Um, so I just haven't had the chance to wear it and it was an expensive bag and I just thought I need to get some wear out of it so I thought this with a little headband and the bag would be really cute so hopefully <laughs> uh, my next video will be a lookbook so hopefully I can show you and um, lastly I also had this see I've run away with the green tea and this one is from Boohoo um, and it's got lovely like gold spots again goes down into a floaty um, like kind of thing but it is a play suit and I can't find this one online I think this has gone but um, originally I wanted this in red and I couldn't get it in red um, so this is a 12 um, both play suits are large by the way and um, they fit like I've got a big bump now and they do fit over the bump perfectly so I've literally been obsessed with these and I just I think when you're pregnant like a wrap style goes really well so I'm obsessed with this love the colour and the, those will both go really nicely with um, the bag that I want them to match with and um, lastly I've only got one more mention which is a pregnancy related mention and like there's a few people that follow me on Instagram that have been like uh, that I talk to and stuff and stretch marks is a big thing what do you do about stretch marks? I don't know. Um, I've got really, really bad ones in between my thighs. Luckily, I haven't got any on my stomach or side at the minute. But stretch marks is a big thing. Um, but this has actually helped. And I had this off my mother for Christmas because she is like she looks friggin amazing for 50 she's gonna be 50 this year she's 50 on the 15th of april and my little bubba is due on the 19th so we're hoping it's gonna collide and i think that'd be lovely for my mom to have like a baby that's around her birthday and she's really really wants to be on her birthday um I hope it's not actually on her birthday because I would like them to have different birthdays but she is so happy like I think she's a bit shocked that she's actually going to be 50 and grandmother but she looks amazing anyway she has no stretch marks um because she moisturized fanatically and she's always saying to me Charlotte you need to moisturize so she's bought me a couple of moisturizers but this one has actually been my favorite and it's the N Spa Mum to be nourishing stretch mark oil with rosehip formulated for pregnancy and postnatal and it's hypoallergenic I have got really 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 sensitive skin um and obviously it makes it difficult i have got um, a palmer's cocoa butter one but this one i have found to be amazing and um it's a dry oil so like literally as soon as you put it on it pretty much dries um so you have to work quite quickly but that's quite good because no one wants like an oil sat around them and i'm really not one for oil products but i i've got to be honest this i would really recommend um it makes me feel like i'm more um kind of like covered than i would be with a moisturizer because sometimes i feel like a moisturizer just kind of sticks as soon as you put it on but this spreads really nicely um it's got in the almond oil rosehip oil um jojoba oil and vitamin e and um just massage it onto clean dry skin and for best results use twice daily you have to wash your hands after because obviously you have oily residue on your hands but i put this on when i'm doing my makeup so it sits in or i put it on before bed and i yeah i've been really really liking this um so if you're pregnant or 
I don't know if you just like an oil this is a really good one so um that is it for my little favorites I have been obsessed with all of these things and um I thought I would just put a few of my actual favorites in rather than just waffling on about loads of stuff which I could do um but the last thing I want to mention is a channel that I've been obsessed with and that is um I don't know if they use Jaris or like James and Karis but they're another Welsh vlogging couple and I've literally been obsessed with them my sister used to watch them um, she used to watch when Karis had um, just her own channel and they didn't have a couple's vlog but literally like they're so relatable I don't know whether it's because I'm Welsh and there's hardly any Welsh YouTubers but I am just obsessed with them and they're so down to earth they're so funny like they, I feel like they just go about their daily life and it's actually believable I feel like some vloggers that like, you, you're like are you really doing that though like are you really but they like they just go to town and they go to get a Costa or they go to McDonald's and I feel like they're like really 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 relatable and um, and she's about my age I think she's a little bit older than me but I'm literally obsessed with them so um yeah everyone go and watch them they're James and Karis or her own channel Karis's channel is Busy Bee Karis so yeah if you're looking for someone new to watch that's really really good really relatable I'm obsessed um and I think they just seem like the nicest couple ever and they do remind me a lot of me and Zach. So um, that is me done. Um, as usual, like, subscribe and send me any suggestions because I'm always open to them and I will see you in my next one. Thanks guys, bye.